It's time for Friday Night Flights, sponsored by Bayport Credit Union, Hercules Fence, Tidewater Community College, and Smith and Key. From high in the sky, Chopper 10 capturing these images in Chesapeake. This was last night, Hickory playing host to Western Branch. Hickory wearing that teal and what a night it was for the Hawks. They've had their troubles on the football field in recent years. Not last night, this year's version of the Hawks erasing those memories of past. Hickory defends its home field and picks up its first win over Western Branch in six years. Hickory getting it done through the air on defense and on the ground. Again, this game was last night. Hickory over Western Branch, 29 to 13. And with that, welcome into the show. I'm Craig Loper. He is James Cotato. Now, this high school football season already going too fast for me. I mean, it is flying by, James. Yeah. Week four for our area public schools, and we had some great games tonight, like always. Like you said, Craig, great games tonight. Some games from last night we're going to see as well, but we start with a battle at the beach tonight. Some unbeatens between Green Run and Cox. Yeah, both these teams, 3-0, coming into this one. Let's see it. Green run. Kaysan Farrar, former player of the week in the shotgun. They do this a lot. Air it out. Going to find Jaden Anderson, one of his main targets, all alone. Up the sideline, into the end zone. First score of the game, 7-0 green run. Farrar in the shotgun once again. How about a little play action pass to Charles Jackson? And watch this stallion run down the field. Gets tackled near the end zone. Taken out a referee along his way. I hope everyone is okay. That was the last play of the quarter. Second quarter now. Charles Jackson, direct snap. He finds a hole in the Falcons' defense. Scores again easily. We know how powerful the Stallions' offense is, James. Little later, Farrar rolling right. Throws a strike to Anderson. The Virginia Tech commit shows the burners. Doesn't get tackled by that last defender. He's in for the long touchdown. Green run moves to 4-0. They beat Cox tonight. 34 to nothing. Staying at the beach, Ocean Lakes looking to improve to 3-0. Dolphins on the road at Kellen picking it up in the third quarter. Dolphins up 7-0. Noah Cologne going to rip off 54 Ooh. yards on the ground to get the Knights to the 19-yard line. Then a scrambling Cologne is going to hit William Meissenbacher in the end zone to put the Dolphins up 14 to nothing. The Ocean Lakes defense pitching a shutout. That's because of that smothering D. When Kellen receivers touched the ball, the Dolphins were just, they were all over all it. All over it. Gang Cologne, back to it again on the move. Another pass to Remy Lynch. Look at that throw. Goes up 21 to nothing. They go on for the win. Out to Salem now. Bayside coming into Sun Devil territory, going up against Salem and our player of the week, Willie Moore. Craig Moore had his hands all over the ball in the first quarter, takes yep. the handoff in the red zone, dives through the contact, gets across the line. 7-0 Sun Devils. He went to the sideline. He said, let's keep working. That's exactly what this lethal offense did. Quarterback Scooter Williams dropping back. Ooh, airs it out. Beautiful. Fabian Wells, the diving snag. Sun Devils continuing to march down the field. Craig, who did they hand it off to? Willie Moore. Yes, that would be correct. He embraces the contact, Craig. Look at that. Looks Ooh. for the hit into the end zone. Salem rolling in this game behind Moore and this great offense. They get a shutout win, 35 to nothing. Can't wait for that green line. I know, seriously. Two teams in search of their first win. FC at Tallwood. The fans getting up as always. And how could you not be excited when you have this guy at quarterback, Jacob Rose, Rojas. Fakes the handoff, fake me out, faked out the whole Patriot defense too. Shed it off, some tackles. And green grass nice in front play. of him. The burners. Nice play. Wow. 70 yards. He was lighting up the scoreboard tonight. And that offense was great, but that Lion defense was locking up. Third quarter, FC punting deep in their own territory. A high snap results in Tallwood getting all over them. Amari Nelson collects. For the touchdown. Yeah, that's That could have been just a safety. It turned out to be a safety. safety. Yeah. But it was a touchdown. They get their first one of the season, Tallwood. Dominant fashion, they win 36 to 9. Now to Norfolk, where the Moore Commodores are not afraid to put together a tough non district schedule. Yeah, Moore has already wins over Maryland State champions Wise and Richmond Powerhouse Highland Springs this season. Tonight, the defending Class 5 state champs at home against Class 4 state power Dinwiddie from Petersburg. Here come the Commodores. Love this entrance. Moore mm. scored a combined 58 points in its first two wins of the season. Moore won the toss, elected to receive, and why not when you got Mr. Bond? LeBron Bond back there to get it. Committed to Indiana. 84 yards to the house to open the game. 7 0, just like that. Still in the first quarter. More from Maury. Atori Newkirk, short little pass to Bond. I mean, 
he's amazing for them. This is what he does. 43 yards this time, 13 to nothing. We're still in the first quarter. Maury offense just on cruise control. New Kirk, plenty of time. Looks to his left, throws to his left. That is Jaden Avery. Avery able to stay upright. 62 yards, all kinds of long touchdowns in this one. That put the Commodores up 20 to nothing over a very good Dinwiddie team that has a quarterback actually committed to Southern Cal. After a Dinwiddie touchdown now, Maury answers right back. Bond, how about this? Another nice return up the home sideline, gets pushed out of bounds. That would lead to another Maury score. Commodores win tonight big, 47-7. They are 3-0 this season. Plenty more to come on Friday Night Flights, including a big Bay Rivers district rivalry between Tab and York. And Chopper 10 flew in Suffolk last night. They flew over Kings Fork. Those highlights still to come. And a look back at Denby's historic win that happened to be the Patriots' first win in more than three years. We're the North East Cheerleaders. Don't go away. You're watching Friday Night Fights. Welcome back to Friday Night Flights. More action from Thursday night, courtesy of Chopper 10, Kings Fork, home against Great Bridge. I didn't show up to Great Bridge Middle School or anything first. Uh, found out the game was in Suffolk. <laughs> Third quarter, handoff to Javon Ford at the goal line. He's unstoppable. We say it every week, 28 to 14. Later, Kings Fork with the ball. Bubba Anderson getting loose, 60 yards. Touchdown, Bulldogs go up 36 to 14. Still in the third, DeAndre Artis Boone to Zadarius win. Good post route, and he is in there for the easy score. 50 to 14. I don't think I've seen King Spork. Uh, the chopper shots up there. The field looks nice. great. Isaiah Gilliam, how about this? He's in there for the touchdown. King Spork wins big in that district game, 64 to 14. All right, we love rivalry games on Friday night flights and one of the bigger rivalries in the area taking place in Yorktown tonight. Craig, hold this one a neighborhood rivalry. Tab taking on York at Bailey Field. How about this? Both teams coming in with 2-0 and records. So like we said, a great matchup of unbeaten. Somebody's always got to go. Yeah. York taking on Tab. Let's go first quarter. York quarterback A.J. Wilson misses his receiver. Tyler Howard going to pick him off. And Howard, how about this, goes all the way back, but a penalty is going to pull it back instead of getting the TD. So tab quarterback Corbin Eckert keeps the ball himself, runs it in for the first score of the game. Tigers up 6-0 after the missed PAT. Second quarter now, it's 9-0 tab. Bad snap. The ball goes over his head. The Falcons linebacker Carter Ward recovers it. York takes advantage. And QB Wilson finds his receiver, Seamus Cassidy, who easily breaks it, gets into the end zone. You got a game. Falcons, extra point gets blocked. Tab still remains in the lead, nine to six. Third quarter on a tab punt. York fumbles the ball, a lot of punts, mishaps today. Tab, defensive back, Noah Pappas recovers the ball. Tab would score, Eckert hands the ball to the running back, Sam Christofel. Tab wins 16 to six, moves to three and zero on the year. In Norfolk tonight, Granby on the road against Norview. I was there for this one. Comet's up two to nothing in the first quarter after a safety. This one out of the wild Comet formation, direct snap. Dravion Farrington, easy touchdown for him. It was eight to nothing. Second quarter now. Pilots try to do a play action quick pass. Iman Cuffey all over it from his position. That is a tackle for loss, and he definitely was not done. Little later, Jashawn Redden airing it out for Cuffey, and he's going to go up and get that one. How about this? 35 yard touchdown catch. He was fired up after that. 15 0. Granby was out in front. Under two minutes to play in the first half now. Handoff to Damari Palmer. He's around, takes a hit, but holds on to the ball. 22 to nothing. Granby scores 20 more points in the second half to go on to win 42 to 0. In Portsmouth, Norcom playing host to out of market Thomas Jefferson from Alexandria. Third quarter, Vikings up 20 to 6. They kept it rolling in the second half. Rashad Cherry floats it right into Amari Goff's bread basket. No one's catching him. 85 yards. House call. Thomas Jefferson extends its lead to 27 to 6. But here come the Greyhounds. Matthew Auten takes the direct snap, runs it up the gut for the nice gainer. That sets up the handoff to Carlick Phillips. He bounces it outside, fights his way to the goal line. Touchdown. Norcom now trails 27 to 12 as we go to the fourth quarter. Vikings inside the Greyhound 10 yard line. It's Rashad Cherry this time. Using the legs, breezes to the end zone. Thomas Jefferson takes care of Norco. Slow start to the season for Lake Taylor so far. Titans hoping to pick up their first win at home against private school St. Christopher's from Richmond. We're in the first quarter. Saints up 7 to nothing, but Titans have the ball. Kevin Adams drops back. He's looking to air it out. He's got a man downfield. 
Daniel May, touchdown, Titans. St. Chris added a field goal in the next position, so it's 10 to 6, Saints, as we head to the second quarter. Lake Taylor defense trying to make a play before halftime. Devon Powell gets some pressure on the QB, and the ball is out. Titans recover, got a little momentum, but they can't score before the half. Or can they get the score before the half? Adams again, looking deep. This time a little too much mustard on this throw. Colin Johnson heads the other way. St. Christopher's beats Lake Taylor 31 to 12. Hey, more action from last night. Oscar Smith and Nansman River were scoreless at halftime, but the Tigers explode in the second half. Lonnie Andrews, short pass to Silas Stanton, spins out of a tackle, breaks another one, and he is gone. That for the first score of the game, six to nothing. Warriors take over on offense. Jaden Coble playing ball hawk back there. Interception to get his team the ball back. And then on fourth and one, Lonnie Andrews lines up for the QB sneak. James, you don't see this often. Breaks oh out of the goodness. pile. How about a 26-yard QB sneak for the touchdown? Oscar Smith, 4-0 on the year. They beat Nansen River 35 to nothing last night. And here we go. Last night also, Deep Creek at Grassfield, second quarter, no score. Hornets handed off to Tayshawn Johnson. Nice run into the end zone from him as he falls in. It was six to nothing at that point. Grassfield on offense now. Landon curls. Pass to Robert Buttery. He gets in the red zone, but Deep Creek does win by eight over Grassfield, 16 to eight. Last night at Darling Stadium, the Hampton Crabbers with a big win over Kikitan. Casey Lassiter, the junior, takes a handoff in midfield, finds a seam, bursts through it, turning on the Jets all the way to the end zone. Crabbers take a 21-0 lead. Next offensive possession, Levante Chapman gets the handoff, not as wide of an opening, so he makes one with a juke move, gets into the end zone. Hampton wins big at 35 to nothing. And how about the Denby Patriots? How about them? Gloucester last night. Denby wearing the camo. Zayden Robinson takes the handoff, pushes it to the outside. Down the sideline, Denby wins 14 to nine, and in doing so, the Patriots snap a 34 game losing streak. They put that to rest as Denby earns itself a big victory. It's first since March of 2021. Remember March football, Craig? It was weird. Congrats to the Patriots.